Okay, so these are trades from yesterday. If you notice, um, let's remove this. This is how the week started. This was yesterday. Came in beautiful rejection in this area. Came down, there was a rejection, and then the next candle as well started with that rejection. You see, if you look at the daily, it clearly holds this level or this price. It comes here, one, two, three, and this is the fourth candle. And it clearly shows a very, very good bullish uh, signal. Mm. And then, uh, throughout yesterday, let me remove the m m moving averages. So it was holding the level one, two, three, four, like a bunch of times, and then it gave a sort of a W, double bottom. Okay, and that's when there was a strong bull trend up. That and that's what I couldn't enter on. I was waiting for I don't know what I was. Um, I, I wasn't sure because it started the day this way. Even on the one hour, if you look at it. It gives a beautiful, like a, this is a strong bear candle, indecision, and a strong bull candle. And then it took off from there, this being a double bottom, okay? Uh, and this level being held for a while, it's almost at the bottom of the range. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it held, it went up. I missed that move, so I waited for it to break this region. This is a region and it is a four hour uh, four hour level of resistance. Broke, came to retest last night, and that's when I took the trade around here on this candle. This is at ten o'clock. That was a good trade, so this was the trade, okay? It was a good trade, but um, I took my tape needle here. I exited half the position over here because I started seeing rejection. Now, where I made a mistake is it started making rejection, and as soon as it passed this line, this is a five-minute level of structure, okay? This line is a five-minute level of structure, so once it broke, I took a trade from around this region, which was, uh, which in hindsight now is stupid because it created a double top over here. So, because on 30 and one hour it is sort of like a double top, it has more strength than the five minutes. So, any once you've entered the trade, any sort of, uh, and you see there's rejection and a double top over here, do not enter on the five minute bull trend. It's foolish. It stopped me out. And the remaining, the other trade I had put, so I exited half my position from here uh, uh, in profit. The next half I put it at break even, it came and hit that. Now I am waiting for the price to hold this level, the buyers to hold this level, and hopefully a beautiful candle action. I am tempted to enter now because of the beautiful, beautiful week candle, I mean the daily candle that finished. Let's see what happened uh, if we enter around this region and we close somewhere there. Hundred and seventeen pips. Hmm. If we enter here. And put it below this level of, or to be safe around here, below that level of support. This would be nice, but this is 300 pips, you know. It's still 1 to 0.5 around till here. Also, is a good trade. It is a good trade, but let's just wait for candle action to show. Show me an entry and then uh, get a better entry, yeah? So once this one hour is done, let's see 
what candle action says and then we can enter so lesson to learn that when you see double top and rejection on a bull trade at the top and it shows rejection on the and double top and divergence on the 30 minute and one hour it's not a smart idea to enter op opposing that move it is not a smart idea and also i entered that trade around um, uh what time was this eight nine ten eleven twelve wow that was crazy that around 12 after 12 in the night it's not the kind of trade you want to enter in so that's a lesson to learn okay so this is what i'm going to do because i see a beautiful engulfing candle and a double like a divergence here you see this like a divergence when you go down you'll see it more clearly look at that divergence double bottom and it broke through this uh, structure previous structure so it's a low, low, high, lower high. It broke to that structure. It's come back to test. And on the daily, it closed as a beautiful engulfing. So I'm going to take a trade. Uh, put a pending order, actually. Somewhere in this region. It's going to be, let's put a pending order. at. So this is about 8 to about 20 21 25 25 pip stop loss we're gonna and uh, to one percent of 2.88 right that's what I'm gonna do 2.88 ending order by limit Entry price is 1.80247. Profit. Over there. Stop. Over here. I'm going to put entry. That's it. Let's see how this works. In the meanwhile, if I do get a candlestick action I will enter and maybe take out the spending all right now my slight confusion wondering because if you look at this it's bouncing off the 20 MA I'd like for it to come in here but you can see an engulfing this along with the daily engulfing and the four hour I think based on the four hour it should come down again no need to enter no need to make haste if I miss this trade there will always be another trade so let's wait all right so that trade smashed my stop loss first thing I want to you want to see is the fact that the okay I'm going to take this out this my friend is a strong back handle so if I had watched the four hour, then maybe this is an indication that, hey, wait for the next candle to show up and maybe reject the region. Then we can maybe enter a trade if buyers hold it. But this shows strong bear pressure. Second thing, you see, this is the level. should I have waited for the price to kind of come in a little more 
pierce the level a little more and then see the candle structure i mean signal in this case it's a few pips above okay is that this is that why we lost the trade or was it solely based on this information then the third thing yesterday i did a stupid thing it was late at night counter trend i think i covered it earlier in the in the videos counter trend i try to take a trade so don't do that dumb i mean that is foolish you're going against the trend against what the price is doing especially because the counter trend i mean the double top was on the 30 minute and the one hour don't go with the five minute thing so currently what i see is there's a break of structure it price couldn't hold up price couldn't hold yeah love 